Well, this, uh, this video demonstrates a technique of um, restoring knuckles on the underside of hammer shanks for piano restoration um, that can save you some money. And um, I'm going to explain how you do it with yarn, what the problem is you're trying to deal with. This is a uh, hammer shank here that fires into the strings up here. And this thing down here is called a knuckle. And when they're new, they look like this. Perfectly round, a nice, lovely feel to the leather. And uh, they're filled with felt. They have kind of a wood thing here. And that's what they look like new. Uh, this is what they look like when they're older but still have the proper shape. But the reason that this one has the proper shape is that it has actually had some repair done to it. So let's take a look at that repair. What you're looking to do is to have a nice smooth rounded edge on this side, the short side, so that, so that the uh, jack of the weapon can hit it at the correct place and, and slide. Uh, you know, right off it, lifting up the, uh, the hammer here. And when they wear, they're going to wear right here. They'll typically be shiny, and it'll no longer have the correct shape. And so you can buy new and put them on there, but you might pay $500 for a set of those knuckles. And you can go to Walmart and buy some yarn, a wool yarn here for, um, or actually I got this at Joanne Fabrics. They didn't have wool at Walmart. I tried there first. And you get a knitting needle. They sell them in two sizes, large and small, and usually they come together and you use the smaller. Now we're just going to put this through. Now, uh, felt is made of uh, wool yarn, and... Um, so if we put in fresh yarn, we can actually rebuild this section. And the, the man, if you look at the structure again, it's leather around felt. So between the two, we can um, insert this little thing right here. Now I usually wear magnifying glasses when I'm doing this work. And uh, I can come here and kind of find a, a spot right here where this can go. And I'll bring it up here where I can hit it gently with. <clears throat> now, if you see, I've put the needle between the leather uh, part here, which old, you can't see it as well because it's older, and the felt. So, And I put it where I'm rebuilding it here, and I'm going to run two, two pieces of... Um, uh, a yarn. You can use a small needle nose like this or you can use a larger pair of pliers. Uh, you do want to take this through with this eyelet flat so that it's got the smallest profile possible as it pulls through this. Now, see so you pull it through, okay, and then you just kind of go like this. And what I do at this Time would be to clip off these two and then I would clip off this and if you want to reposition the um, the wool a little bit but what you can see what it does is it kind of fills the shape in a little bit and I'm going to take this one up just a hair up like that and that one down and then you take a razor blade and you Pull these kind of taut, and we just cut it right off, right like that. See, and we flip it over, and you grab a hold of this here gently and slide this thing back. Okay, and so then <clears throat> what you've got now is a, more of a round shape, and if you don't uh, like that shape, uh, you can take a 
a very small hammer here in your hand and we can just gently reshape this section here to make it a little bit rounder and reshape it and it will hold as you do this okay and you can see that even though it's kind of dirty it uh, it does have the a correct shape for playing and it, it is playable uh, if the uh, texture of this leather you you want to fluff it you can use a little brush on it you can use files on it if you want to file let's say a raised area on the edges because the jack will normally press in the middle and create two uh, <clears throat> ridges here one here you can sand those off any kind of a file will do that job uh, even one here that's a, a reed a uh, little file like this you could come in here and <clears throat> if you wanted you could just do that yeah. But that's a great way to effect a repair that costs uh, less than $12. You can get your yarn. Be sure it's 100% wool. And uh, you get yourself your little needle. And uh, this uh, technique can also be used to uh, reinvigorate the uh, uh, felts at the heel of a uh, whipping. Uh, uh, it's it's a great technique anytime that you need to you know rebuild stuff now I'm not going to say that it's going to operate as well as a new one it won't but it'll play and it will work and uh, you can change uh, these knuckles another day don't forget when you go to pull knuckles off a hundred year old piece you might remove the knuckle or you might just break that shaft <clears throat>